48 members of the movement for Yoruba Nation have been arraigned at the Yaba Chief Magistrate's Court in Lagos for alleged unlawful protest and killing of a woman. The defendants are jointly facing a three-count charge of conspiracy, unlawful assembly and a breach of peace, which they pleaded not guilty. Uh, one of the defendants, Tajuddin Bakari, is facing two extra counts of murder and unlawful possession of arms. Police prosecutor Adejoke Adebisi told the courts that Bakari, during the protest, shot a passerby, Jumoke Oyeleke, with a pistol. Remember the 25-year-old lady who was killed during the Yoruba Nation rally at Ojota in Lagos? An autopsy result suggests the missile as suggests missile as cause of death as the Lagos State Corona is suggesting a judicial inquiry investigates the case as confirmed by the victim's lawyer. Plus TV Africa's correspondent, Destiny Momo, has more. Justice seems to be slow for Jumoke Uyeleke, the lady killed during the Yoruba Nation rally that took place at the Ghani Fawaimi Park in Lagos on July the 3rd. Most protesters at the rally claimed the 25-year-old was killed by the police, an allegation the force denies. The lawyer to the victim's family, Taiwo Olawale, is hopeful of a positive outcome if investigation is properly handled. Firstly, we want whoever shot Dumoke to firstly be dismissed by the police. Maybe only if a senior officer is going to be on the trial, it's going to be on the room trial and subsequently to be prosecuted. Many of them have been prosecuted if we keep people illegally, because there's no justification for killing anyone, for even shooting at that protest gun. On what basis will a police officer shoot a stray bullet that killed the innocent Jumoke Oyeleke? And that's a position. We are going to make sure that whoever did that is prosecuted. And secondly, the law made provisions that whoever is being is aggrieved or has been uh, something illegal has been done against is entitled to compensation. According to Olawale, the chief coroner, Justice Dada, served an inquest requesting to handle the case. And this is the reason Oyeleke is yet to be buried. We want to take permission from the coroner inquest on the 2nd of August, if you can go ahead and bury, because we don't want to go ahead and bury and thereafter, the panel will say, no, you shouldn't have buried. We need a body. A brother to the late Oyeleke says the family is still expecting justice and compensation. We want justice. We want compensation for the mother because the, the Jumoke has three siblings, which Jumoke is taking care of with her salary and her mother's salary. I'm really feeling bad right now because I just heard the news that um, they charged someone for the murder of Jumoke, which they said I brought out the pictures and which I never talked to anybody and I never knew anybody. And I was not at the protest. So why will I bring out the picture of someone that I, they said that I bring it out that I was the one that murdered Jumoke? I am not in the protest. How will I bring that out? Oyeleke was an ice cream sales girl around the venue of the Yoruba Nation rally who was unfortunate to have died. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.